As more and more EVs hit the roads, the number of EV fires is also increasing. This has led to some serious concerns about the safety of these vehicles and the ability of our current infrastructure to handle them. So, what's causing these electric infernos? Why are EVs more prone to catching fire than their petrol-powered counterparts and what can be done to prevent these fiery disasters? Buckle up, because we're about to delve into the hidden dangers of EV fires and why more places are slamming the brakes on these electric hazards. Picture this. You're returning from a relaxing holiday looking forward to getting home and unpacking. But as you approach the airport car park, you're met with a scene of utter chaos. Smoke billows into the sky, fire engines blare their sirens, and a pungent smell of burning metal fills the air. Welcome to Luton Airport, where an inferno ripped through a multi-story car park, destroying everything in its path. The culprit? An electric vehicle. It all started with a single EV, parked among hundreds of other cars. Suddenly, their car erupted in flames, the fire quickly spreading to nearby vehicles. The intense heat caused a chain reaction, turning the car park into a raging inferno. We should turn off solar charging of lithium batteries at 12 noon in summer. Why? Do you know why electric vehicles catch fire? Solution. Go for supercapacitor type battery and replace the lithium battery. Let us go into the video. If the battery is kept outdoor, at 12 noon, the temperature of the battery box may be around 65 degrees Celsius or more. If you charge the battery with a high charging current, due to the maximum solar light falling on the panel, when the battery temperature is at 65 degrees Celsius, the battery may blast or get degraded. This is one of the reasons of failures of solar street lights and other solar products including electric vehicles that catch fire while charging. Safe temperature range for lithium batteries while charging. Not more than 45 degrees Celsius. If the temperature is more than 45 degrees Celsius, we must derate the charging current and at 65 degrees Celsius, the charging must not be done. Charging current versus temperature graph. This is an important graph. The BMS or the charging controller unit must implement this graph. The charging current must be reduced if the battery temperature goes above 45 degrees Celsius to 50% at 55 degrees Celsius and 0% at 65 degrees C. Similarly, we need to reduce the charging current when the temperature is low in the winter is shown. BMS used in lithium batteries may be cheap and small and may not derate the charging current if temperature is above 45 degrees C. So you will need your additional charging controller unit to take care of reducing the charging and discharging currents as a function of temperature is shown in the graph of the previous slide. Remember. Lithium battery fails to work at below 0 degrees Celsius and above 50 degrees Celsius. Why have cars catch fire? In Chennai, a parked car can reach dangerously high temperatures in the summer. Even with a relatively cool outside temperature, the inside of a car can quickly heat up, potentially reaching 140 degrees Fahrenheit, 60 degrees Celsius in just an hour. This is due to the greenhouse effect, where sunlight is trapped inside the car. If you sit in your heated, parked electric vehicle car and turn on the air conditioner, the battery can catch fire. Or, if you run the heated car at high speed it can catch fire, or, if you charge your battery in the charging station in a heated car, it can catch fire. If temperature and blast is worrying you, for the electric vehicle, supercapacitor is the choice to replace the lithium battery. Ultracapacitors, or supercapacitors excel in both cold and warm climates. Supercapacitors operate with extremely high efficiency at temperatures ranging from minus 40 degrees Celsius to plus 70 degrees C. Minus 20 degrees Celsius to plus 60 degrees Celsius range is typical for supercapacitor type batteries. What is the price of 48 volts 7.5 kilowatt hour supercapacitor battery? More than $3000. Two times costlier than lithium battery. What is the price of 48 volts 7.5 kilowatt hours lithium battery? 
around $1,500 only. This table lists the comparison between supercapacitor battery and a lithium battery. All parameters are good for the supercapacitor battery, except for the cost. See that the supercapacitor battery can work well from minus 40 degrees Celsius to 65 degrees Celsius, that is very good for an electric vehicle. Also the lifetime of the supercapacitor battery is good with 30,000 cycles much better than 500 cycles to 3,000 cycles for lithium batteries. The 48 volts 7.5 kilowatt hour supercapacitor battery module is designed for a long lifespan, typically exceeding 30 years of projected calendar life in 50,000 cycles. It also offers a 10 year warranty. Temperature minus 22 plus 60 degrees C no fire hazard. Price $3,000 and above. Lithium batteries of the same capacity will have 3,000 cycles or less 7 to 10 years lifetime. Temperature range 20 to 50 degrees C. Fire hazard. F cars may catch fire if the lithium battery is abused at higher temperature. Price below $1,500. For EV, should we use supercapacitors? Due to the price difference, we may stick with lithium batteries for the time being. We need strong charge controllers and BMS to stop blasts. Conclusions Ake, stick to lithium batteries for electric cars for the time being. Though, we need an intelligent and strong charging controller that senses battery temperature and limits charging and discharging currents for lithium batteries to avoid fire.